We've had people from the left and the right come together on this effort. We think that it's not a difference of left versus right, it's a difference of right versus wrong. With Election Day just a few weeks away, a big amendment on the ballot is gaining a lot of support from the left and the right. We're talking about Amendment 2, which, if voters pass, would change a long-standing law and require unanimous verdicts in all felony cases. And both conservative and liberal groups have poured thousands of dollars into changing the law, which dates back to the Jim Crow era. Carice Jackman brings us the story. Two groups, typically on different ends of the political spectrum, are sending the same message on Amendment 2, asking voters to put an end to the state's non-unanimous jury law. We know that people believe what they see on television, that what they see on Law & Order is when one member of a jury thinks you're innocent, that you will get a new trial, that you'll be freed, and that's just not how it works in Louisiana. Louisiana and Oregon are currently the only two states that allow juries to convict or acquit a person in a felony case with 10 out of 12 jurors, a law dating back to the Jim Crow era. We believe that if the government's going to take the hopes and dreams away from an individual for the rest of their lives, that we should be sure that we're sending the right person to jail. John Kay is state director of Americans for Prosperity a conservative group funded by the Koch brothers, one of the most powerful political families in the U.S. He says they plan on spending over $100,000 between now and Election Day on digital ads like this one. We are contacting voters across the state, uh, making phone calls, sending out direct mail pieces, writing op-eds, going on radio stations, interviews like this one, uh, to help spread the word about this constitutional amendment. The same goes for the Unanimous Jury Coalition, a band of organizations including the ACLU and the Southern Poverty Law Center. Mary Patricia Ray says this reform is long overdue. People in Florida, Texas, Alabama, and Mississippi have more Sixth Amendment rights than people in Louisiana, and we're going to change that. While there seems to be bipartisan support for this amendment, the ultimate decider on the matter will be the voters. In New Orleans, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News. Many prosecutors in Louisiana are supporting the amendment. The Orleans DA says he's not taking a position on the matter, while the state attorney general's office says it's not making any public comments on it.